Hey guys, this is Gutsy Canuck here bringing you another cast. Um, this one is actually going to be a little bit special, just like every other one I do. But um, what I've noticed is I've taken a look at my casting, and even though the main goal of a caster is to be completely unbiased, I have noticed I have been a little bit biased. Uh, just simple things like I'll say... Uh, a certain team's players names more than another team and stuff like that so with this cast I picked two teams that frankly I do not have a like favoring side for either of them uh, they're just two standard teams to me they're not my favorites or whatever so that's not a bad thing but um, it's it's really good because that way I could watch a game with them without having any bias and I'm gonna make a, a conscious effort to try and keep this cast as unbiased as possible so uh, I'm gonna like say their names of the players I'm gonna try and do that more than the heroes that's another thing I notice I do and uh, yeah so hopefully it works out this is a TI4 grand final game uh, between newbie and VG so uh, I'm looking forward to this and a lot of people already know the results to this but doesn't matter uh, we're gonna watch it anyways um, and there is one more thing I forgot. I forgot to mention. I'm trying to think what it is. Um, I mean, like, there's obvious mistakes I'm always going to do, like missing <laughs> first blood and stuff. And, uh, you know, certain kills around the map. And, and sometimes, uh, you know, I jumble up my words. Every caster does that. They'll do that forever. So, but, uh, yeah. Let's work on the bias. Let's see if I can do this. And, uh... Yeah, let's get started here. I'm just going to hide this and start the replay. Uh, there will be no broadcaster because I am the broadcaster. And we are going to see a draft happen. So, right now we've got Newbie with their first ban being Razor. Lycan for Vichy Gaming. Fall by Death Prophet. And uh, Enchantress. So, very standard bans. Especially the Lycan, you, uh, Radiant's even on the Dire, you don't want the dreams. opponents getting Lycan on the Radiant. So, Newbie with the first pickup will be pick. Nature's Prophet. I'm really liking this. Uh, just a very versatile offlaner. And, uh, I, by my research, uh, Zhao Wei is usually the offlane player. And, uh, he has a really nice Nature's Prophet from previous TIs. So, we're gonna have the Dire's pick now. Uh, I'm thinking something like a, hmm, it could be a support right away. They, I mean, they banned out the Enchantress, so maybe they're looking for a core support. Um, usually you see supports in offlaners within the first, go. uh, pick and ban. So there's a support, Earth it's gonna be a Shaman, Shaker. it's gonna be both their supports actually. So Earthshaker and Shadow Shaman, there's Radiant your push, pick. there's your, uh, long range disable and disruption possibly initiation the minute the blink dagger gets picked up uh, we're gonna see newbie now with their second pick uh, good counters to these trying to think well any push is a great is great to start um, because shadow shaman is just there's there's not a whole lot that actually deals with shaman I mean you could pick up a pugna and that also puts some push in your favor but he's not really the any push you want an Earth Shaker, especially with his long range fissure, is definitely gonna uh, disrupt him, regardless of whether he go. has Nether Ward down on the field or not. Uh, they're gonna pick up an Ancient Apparition, so it's okay Radiant's at stopping banned. push. But like I said, there's not a whole lot you could do to stop a Shadow Shaman. There's not a single pick that really like stops him. So they're just gonna stick to their bread and butter. They're gonna grab the Ancient Apparition and head straight into the ban phase. So. 13 seconds left on this ban. Probably going to start seeing some core bans. I mean, you already have. 10 seconds to go. Ten based off of the go. draft, you know, they're probably going to ban out some push because it looks like both teams kind of have, Five seconds. have uh, a favor and push strats. So we'll see. They're entering the reserve time. Reserve time. Taking their time with this. And it'll be a Weaver ban. Uh, I'm I, I should ban. try and predict some bands here. Let's see. Uh, Doom's very popular still. Uh, he's not really great with push though, but 
Uh, Enigma is pretty popular too, and he is good with push, so that'd be a nice hero to pick to get rid of. So Doom, Enigma, mm, they've already got the Death Prophet. Ten seconds to go. I'm trying to think. Who synergizes well with Earthshaker Shaman? Five seconds. Not entirely sure. Hmm. Reserve time. I mean, maybe you could get... No, never mind. I was thinking something in terms of clones, like a Morphling or something. Um... Not entirely sure here, so they've got 140... 140... Doesn't matter. A minute and 38 seconds left for the bands. They have entered the reserve time with a minute and 45 still left for Team Newbie. Probably going to look at... Uh, it's... it's. I mean, like, there's still going to be a support for Newbie, so some heroes that pair up well with Ancient Apparition would be something like a Disruptor... Um, Although you usually want a more concrete stun, so possibly Lion could be on the table. They're going to pick off the Radiance Rubik. Band. They don't want them stealing that Earthshaker. And also Rubik works well with Ancient Apparition. Lift, Cold Snap. Uh, not Cold Snap, Cold Feet, sorry. Uh, gives you that guaranteed instant stun. And you definitely don't want to fight that. Especially with heroes like Shaman and Earthshaker. They're a little bit squishy early on. They'll ban out the Ember Spirit. Uh... I guess they're not worried about, like, Doom and stuff. So. I mean, they could still definitely ban it right now. Vichy, it's Vichy's turn to ban, so we'll see. But yeah, I was thinking, like, get rid of that Doom. Ten seconds to go. Um, get rid of that Enigma, especially. That hero's just really dangerous at the moment. Five seconds. Especially for TI4. Very popular pick. Uh, Skyrath's pretty popular, too, and that is an option. It's not... Reserve time. They're not really going to have stuns if Newbie picks it. But, uh, you know, it, it, it does combo well, especially with uh, Prophet with the trees. If you don't have a Tango or a Quelling Blade on you, and he puts up that spread on you, you are definitely going to take the full duration of that Skywrath Mage ult. But they have to get to that point, too. So, they've got just over a minute left of their reserve time to pick a ban. And we shall see... I should have actually sped this up. I could wait. I could actually do that. Let's do that. Let's speed it up by times two. I think I could just press the buttons to do it, but whatever. So we're now on times two. Uh, not too much time left actually for Vichy. Uh, they they're really taking their time with this, thinking what they need to ban out here, and they'll get rid of the Vipers. So there's that Dyer's DPS. Pick. They don't they don't want to deal with that. When he if he catches out a Shaman or an Earthshaker with poison, they're just done for. So. <laughs> Uh, Brewmaster will be picked Radiant's up. I like this pick. pick a lot. Very popular. Totally passed my mind, too. Um, and especially against heroes like Prophet and AA, what are they going to do if Brewmaster uses his ult? You know, those are free picks. You throw a boulder at them, a couple hits from the fire, Panda and stuff, and they're they're dead. You can even use your Ten Cyclone if you to have go. to if they're running away. But they're not very fast mobile heroes. Five, so, five seconds. And they don't really have ways of escaping. So I think Brewmaster's a great pickup here. Reserve time. We're going to have Newbie's turn to pick. And Skyros actually looking pretty good here. Um, the silence for Brewmaster. He could obviously, with its all, just nuke down an Earthshaker and Shaman right away. Mind you, the only thing they have so far in terms of control so that he gets a perfect alt off is the Nature's Prophet Sprout. So if they are going to pick up a Skyros, they're going to have to get some sort of control in terms of their offlane and carry, and maybe they don't want to sacrifice, uh, you know, a spell for that on a roll such as an offlane or a carry. But then you could have, like, Centaur or something. He's pretty good uh, for that. 48 seconds left on the clock. This is the reserve time now lion. of Dyer's Newbie, pick. and they will pick up uh, Lion. So there's there's your control. Uh, he still has the burst that Skyrath delivers, which is his Finger of Death, but it's it's more secure. It's not as, like, potent, but it is definitely a more secure way of delivering it. Plus, he has the many forms of control. Ten so seconds, ten seconds he could cheat the brew, he could stun the brew, but after that, five, brew's going to have assault. Seconds. But then again, you know, when he stuns, if Reserve you get a cold time. feed off, that brew's just dead. Period. And it's pretty long range too. If you could hit the lion stuns, it's actually a quite quite a decent long range stun. 
25 seconds left on the clock for Vichy Gaming. Um, there is a lot of squishies on the table for newbies. So Vichy should have a clue that there's going to be Ten you know, seconds some tanky to go. heroes. I'm thinking a centaur, a timber. Five seconds. Um, you know, maybe even a Chaos Knight. So they're going to get the big guns pick. to deal with that, which is clockwork. He catches a car uh, tanky dude in there. He's going to... Eh, I don't know, actually. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, clockwork is pretty good against a lot of uh, big, bulky heroes, but there is certain ones like... Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Like ten Wraith King ten seconds to go. eats clockwork alive. Five, uh, five life seconds. Life Stealer is good at that, too. Uh, so we'll, we'll have to time. see. But there's there's three strengths going on the side of Vichy, whereas Newbie has three intelligence. So, But the carries the carries and the offlaners have to come online right about now. And they're going to pick up the lifestealers. So, Dyer's banned. Uh, he's good against actually <laughs> every strength hero. <laughs> so is Timber. Um, Centaur's okay too. But yeah, they're going to go with the lifestealer. Um... By my research, ten, ten I think it's How, who is a really, five, like five, he plays Lifestealer a lot. He's really good at the hero. You don't see it too much anymore either, so uh, you definitely have to be in your comfort zone to be playing a Lifestealer uh, during this patch. But he's still definitely relevant, so why not pick him? And we're going to have Vichy's last pick. Uh, maybe get an agility hero, just some DPS, or even just a DPS intelligence hero. Ten seconds, ten seconds to go. And Doom have been banned out. You know, Tinker's still on the table. Five seconds. And they're going to grab a lone druid. So that Radiant's is an agility pick. hero. And uh, that's also push too, so. There's actually not a whole lot of push going on the table for both teams if you think about it. Um, you have the Shaman with his wards, obviously, and the Lone Druid for Vichy. And for Newbie, so far, you really only have the Nature's Prophet. So if they're going to want to go push, they're going to have to pick up push hero right now. And they'll go with the Alchemist. So Acid Spray, pretty good for clearing out creep waves. Fire's pick. And uh, we're just going to get started right into the draft here. I'm going to actually slow it down because I'm going to crash if I don't. Because I think I'm already crashing. <laughs> Let's slow this down. There you go. I'm going to take a drink. And we will get started. So, I should introduce the players right away, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to be very fast. I can do it right here. <laughs> you can see who's picking what, but they might be swapping in game and stuff like that. So, I'll wait till we actually get in the game and get started. Um. But in terms of uh, synergy and stuff, both teams are looking really solid. Uh, there's all kinds of combos you could do, you know. Clockwork gets a nice hook. That's an easy... Like, if Clockwork Ten gets a hook on, like, three go. people, that's an easy uh, Earth Shaker alt right there. Five uh, seconds. In terms of newbie, you know, you got the Sprout. You could use AA's Blast on Sprout. You could obviously um, use Cold Feet. And for some reason, this is not free camera. Put it on. So let's try that again. All right, introducing the teams. We for VG we have ROTK on the Clockwork off lane. We're gonna have Super on the Brewmaster, Fenrir on the Earthshaker, FY on the Shadow Shaman, and Silar on the Lone Druid. And for your team newbie, you will have Banana on the Lion. Zhao Wei on the Nature's Prophet, Song Sheng on the Ancient Apparition, Hao on Lifestealer, and uh, Alchemist will be played by Mu. Um, and that's Team Newbie for the Radiant. Looks like uh, ROTK placing that really fast ward to block the camp down at bottom lane. Even buying a teleport to do it, he just doesn't want to deal with it. He's even going to go back and heal up mana because he still has 40 seconds. Why not? So, pretty interesting strat. We're going to have Zhao Wei. Plunking a trend in the Roche pit. Doesn't want any funky business going on down there. 30 seconds to show uh, The time. rest of Team Newbie up here at top lane. Super is going to be your mid, obviously, on the brew. And Moo will be your mid alchemist. Let's check up top up here. Silar in the tri lane. That's actually a really scary tri lane if, if you think about it. But they do have an aggro tri going on themselves. They're not afraid of it. The life stealer. The Ancient Apparition, the Lion. Banana. Does have some sentries. The game is so on. So maybe expecting some warding. Here's the bear here. 
They see, they run down here bottom, ROTK, gonna notice some trees. Got a and a haste picked up by Zhao Eight, so. We'll see how that goes. Move, two tangos, safety items. Uh, looks like Newbie's gonna take a pretty aggressive route. They're gonna have a ward here, so this is gonna give some nice uh, vision in the jungle. Just to see where rotations are going and stuff. Because usually when you rotate, uh, you either smoke, which is around this area up here, in terms of uh, VG I'm talking, or you know you go the long way around, which is over here. And this is just gonna help keep their mid safe, uh, Newbie's mid. So I should be popping up last hits. Three to one. But Life Stealer not too far behind. Game's just started. And he's got a stout shield for that harass. Still no points leveled up. Not sure what he wants to do, whether they see an opportunity to use the slow. Maybe he needs the feast so he can heal up a bit. Because there is a bit of auto attacking going on here, but this is intentional. They could get away with this because uh, BG's also pushing the wave pretty hard. Lots of heals going on uh, Silar, Phi with its own sentry. We've got ROTK bottom with his own sentry. There's a ton, a ton of sentries going around. Super leveling up one point in Drunken Brawler. We've got Moo with the standard acid spray concoction. So far things are going pretty good. Last hits are pretty nice. Uh, still have uh, Silar. Super. Not Silar. Super. <laughs> Super. Uh, leading the, the board. Ooh, this is not good for Lion. He's he's in a bad, bad, bad spot. And no one can help him. What a great Fissure. Not sure if he's going to live this. Does he have a TB? No, he knows he's dead. He uses his Hex. That's and there's blood. First Blood going the way of Vichy Gaming. Uh, How's gonna try and get something off of this? There's the slow. We've also got Xiao Wei with the teleport in. So they're gonna manage to get a return kill. Possibly getting Fenrir. Mm, no, not enough. They cut it. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they cut their way out of the trees right there for a second. So there was no way they could get the cold feet combo going. Salving up. Buying that magic stick. So obviously ant anticipating plenty of action up here on the top lane. Meanwhile, mid, you've got Super and Moo man moding down here. But I think Super's a little bit more tanky. Even with the Acid Spray, Moo getting a little aggressive there. Double damage plus the tankiness and the Drunken Brawler of Super. Oh, meanwhile, missed the kill down here. Bought on Zhao 8. It looks like AA did teleport in to try and help, but still not enough. RTK going to sell himself up. And Songshan gonna be a bit careful, but he's got Xiao Wei back here, so they should be fine. Meanwhile, we've got Phi with the rotation that I'm pretty sure helped to get that kill. He's still sticking around bottom lane. Uh, probably gonna try and kill Xiao Wei again, out. but then again, up here top, you've got Hao being pretty aggressive, and it's working out. He's almost got his phase boots, actually. So doing really well. We're gonna see Phi and Songshan meeting each other. Clockwork, Rocket. And almost killing Song Shen. Ooh. Uh-oh. He's getting pretty low. If there's another clockwork... No, not enough. I was going to say, if I got an extra last hit there, he probably could have killed him if clockwork managed to hit him with a rocket. But did he have any HP? No, he didn't. So perhaps that could have been possible, but you don't want to dive too far. Or else, uh, you know, you're going to hit, get hit by the tower. Zhao Wei's going to teleport in. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, Mu still spamming out that acid spray, but needs to be very careful. Saw the tankiness of the brewmaster. Gonna use his stun, actually. It's a short duration, probably just to get a rune advantage, but the rune is not top, so now Mu's in a bit of trouble. There's the slow, or the clap, better known as it. Wow, ultimate already at the four minute mark. Mu trying to get to the ancients to deny himself, but will be unable to. Super picks off yet another kill on Mu in mid lane. How? Getting stunned up needs to be careful. He was greedy. Wants that last hit, but is it going to cost him? No, it's not so far. And he does have a point of peace, so he could easily heal up again. And that, I think... No, he doesn't have a tango. That was, uh... That was Silar with the tango. There you go. Silar's got plenty of regen. And so far, hasn't even taken any damage. Great bear micro, just keeping himself up. I missed yet another kill on Xiao We're actually going to go back, because I don't want to miss that. <laughs> We're gonna go back a bit more. There we go. So it looks like what? Xiao Wei. 
Okay, he was in fist. There was no way he would have just did that. That's just the fucking system. So it looks like our OTK got an Viz rune. And easily picks off Xiaowei. There's no way Xiaowei would have not noticed that otherwise. Silly Dota and your bugs. Uh, maxing that bear, very standard. Uh, still not sure what Lifestealer is doing. He's actually got a point in saved up. I was going to say stats, but he does have two ironwood branches. So saved up. These two are smoked. So Siler will actually not know they're there. Unless if he spotted the smoke in a ward. Which they don't really have tops. So that's just good instincts from Siler. Plus the, the way he's pushing. That's also always uh, helpful. I missed two kills so far, maybe even three. So I gotta be, I gotta be a bit more quicker on this. Siler's actually all by himself top against the tri lane, but because it's pushed, you know things are working out pretty nicely. They're covering vision really well, standing in this like triangle thingy here. Although this part of how standing here is just because he was last standing creeps, but otherwise it's it, it's given some nice vision which they need. In case of ganks are coming along, we've got three mid, and. Uh, Moo definitely knows something's something's up here. <laughs> Something is definitely seriously wrong because uh, no one's top harassing my carry, so why should I go in? But he's actually going in pretty aggressive. Oh no, clap, stun, Moo, your regen's great, but isn't enough. Throws out the stun, he's dead. ROTK throws in the rocket. Moo just playing a little bit aggressive here. Song Sheng. Now next in line, he's getting picked off. Super, get it pretty low. Does have two bottle charges to sustain himself. Might even have to use one. He's not even gonna bother. He's gonna wait till afterwards, and he's gonna get it there nice and fine. Meanwhile, up top lane here, you got Silar running for his life, and the Nature's Prophet all from Zhao A picks him off. Plenty of kills going around. VG in the lead, seven to two. And I just heard an infest. Oh, just creeps. Just the heal up. Uh, face boots, stout shield, 1,000 gold online. He could actually get a pretty fast minus if he wants. Is he blocked off? No, he's safe. I don't th I don't think that Rear could go for that kill regardless. Uh, even if he trapped him, you know, he had mana to use, you know, open wounds. Could have easily just took him out. Because you are a strength hero. You have to be careful. <laughs> Anyways, Zhao wait. Bottom lane, phase boots. Going for that necro. Uh, he chose belt to giant strength first, just so that he's a bit more tanky. Um, rather than saving up for... A lot of people just save up for the wizardry, which is fine, but... You know, if you're a squishy offlaner that could easily get picked off from one clockwork hook, you usually don't want to stay there. Speaking of clockwork hooks, we're going to have one. ROTK manages to catch up Moo. Moo is just not having a good day here today. Banana, though, gonna try and make something happen over here, but the Brewmaster split is just a little bit too fast. Moo's just dead. He's trying to run the other way uh, just to help save his teammates a bit. And that's the Moo's just getting ripped apart. This is unlike Moo. Um, let's check out the KDR. I don't really want to do this. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So we've got four kills on the Clockwork. Wow, that's a lot of kills on our OTK. Uh, and then the four deaths on Moo is just not... Things are just not going well. Super, bottles the pace. But he doesn't have his ult, so... If he's going to take this, he's going to have to have other people to help. But how is all by himself? Framer is actually going to pull. He, does, he doesn't even care. I think they know Radiant's they have... Oh, God. Coming up that was on. not... That was, that was, uh, mm, yikes. That, that, uh, infest timing. I don't think they're gonna still be able to get the kill, but Super's actually going in on this. He needs to be a bit careful. Oh! He's indecision. Might just cost Super's life. Uh-oh. He's in big trouble. He's stuck. How A turns around. Super knows. Super knows he's in bad trouble. And he will be picked off. <laughs> so, a, a little bit, like, he probably could have got the kill, but then again, uh, Super was just a little bit indecisive there. And uh, Zhao A with the ult afterwards, just Super was probably like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just YOLO. And uh, didn't work out for him, but that's all right. They're still in the lead. It's 3-8. to eight. And this bear has actually got quite a lot of gold. Just Dyer's a stout shield and boots. Probably going to save it for a fast radiance. Shadow Shaman looking very wealthy here with the arcane boots and plenty of support items. But actually, speaking about Dyer's this, he's in a bad spot. There's the teleport. Is there any actual stuns? No, there is not. That's the one uh, The one downside to Cold Feet is that it is not initial. 
So eas easily what looked like to be a total disaster uh, turned out to be quite okay for FY. I'm going to call him Phi and FY. It's just that's what I do. I'll try and call him FY. I'm pretty sure it's FY, not Phi. But uh, <laughs> I like to, to, to sound things out. So we'll see. Zhao Ei going in the jungle, getting that much that closer to his tower. necro. Uh, Song Shang doing some pulls. Even though they are pushing, this tower is low. They're not really getting. Uh, ooh, smoke gank. RTK and FY. Blink is now on brood. That's a 10 minute blink. That's very scary. Uh, but they're looking to push this top tower, and it is actually Dyer's looking pretty healthy. Down. But use a little help. by the looks of it, I think. Uh, newbie wants to play bottom, so hurting. they might just be giving this up. They're going to use the blight. There is some rotations fortified. coming out from Mu and uh, your line here Radiant's on Banana. Towers and but I, is it going to be enough? The acid spray is going out. BG is going to back out, playing it safe. Tower. They realize how much damage Dyer's they can deliver, so they know fortified. they can easily come back to that tower and finish it off later. Baiting out with the low HP bear. Newbie. Banana. No, see. <laughs> He knows. He doesn't want to get caught out by Fenrir. ROTK looking hungry for some blood. And uh, I think he's going for a mech. Uh, we haven't seen more of that on Clockwork, but it's I, I think it's kind of a newish thing. Obviously, people have been doing it forever, but uh, I'm liking this. Why not? Because otherwise, your mech carrier is going to be like your shaman. And you don't really want your shaman getting mech. You want him sticking to the wards and stuff. And there's plenty of offlaners that do go mech. The mech for a newbie actually would be something like Prophet, but because he's going necro, I don't think they're going to have anyone on the mech. Yeah, so newbie's not too worried about mech at the moment. But VGR, it'll strengthen the push, and uh, just all around make the team fight that much more better. How? Looking pretty wealthy. There's a Hannah Midas if he wants it, but he also needs to be careful because super. With his blank dagger and alt, is looking for some blood. Even Song Sheng's a bit worried down here. Looking a little poor here. Action's gonna, gonna happen soon. Go back to last hits. No, last hits. I should be using hockey. 68 on Hao, so he is definitely in the lead in terms of last hits. Zhao 8, gonna spot out Super here. No funky business is going on. And this ward will also spot out RTK, but I don't know if, uh, yeah, they're gonna go north. Moo's just gonna go north. Needs to watch out. You, careful, Moo. <laughs> Wait, I'm not supposed to be biased. No bias. ROTK. Watch that hook. He's, he's craving it. But he's gonna wait. Fenrir in the jungle, possibly stacking. Is there any stacks oh, yeah. going on? I'm not even sure. I don't see any, so maybe that's what he's going to do. But either way, it's looking like there's four people on the side of EG in middle lane. Fall by four people for newbie. So we're going to have a clash here. VG pushed in the lines. Zhao Wei throwing out his trench. And there goes the ult from FY. Moo easily going to try and clean that up. They're actually cleaning that up pretty nicely. And VG are not looking to stop it. So kind of a wasted ult, actually. Uh, coming up from BG, they might just have to cancel hits. this push. But then again, you've got the bear up top pushing. It's not it's not great, but, you know, Zhao X is actually doing pretty nice. And that's his Necro right there, so he's got the money. I don't Radiant's think he needs to save up for buyback this hits. early. It's only 13 minutes, so... Usually, if you buy back this early, it, you know, the things are not going too well for your team. Bottom tower. Or it's to make an epic, like, massive kill lead. But that's highly unlikely going to happen. So Guess he's probably going to buy his necro. And tower. there it is. Meanwhile, how? He does have support from Banana. But needs to be very careful. That's why Siler are looking pretty, pretty content to push him this tower with the smoke gank here. And ROTK is is so looking for a hook. Oh my goodness. This is not going to end well for Howie. Howie. <laughs> that's Xiaowei. How is the carry. And there you go. Easily cleans up how They did have to actually invest a lot into that, but there still is a clockwork magic. hook, if I'm not mistaken. No, there is not. So never mind. That's a lot of alts going out for it. But that tower easily mopped up for it. The carry is down. No, no other lanes are pushed, so they really can't do much. We're actually going to see a stack being farmed up here by Mu and Zhao Ei. So there is some stacking going on in the Radiant jungle. Actually, it's just that one camp. Uh, this is stacked. It's a little camp, but that's really it. 
for VG. Meanwhile, top lane, Banana easily gonna get picked off. One Fissure, probably a root from the bear, and easy peasy pickoffs. So, Fi, now on a killing spree. Radiant support top Shadow Shaman. No wonder he's looking wealthy. He could probably afford a blink. Oh, goodness. If he gets a blink, that's gonna be scary for a newbie. Newbie? I don't know. Newbie's looking okay. I mean, the score's saying otherwise, but, you know. Prophet's still getting his items. He's got that fast necro, so he is definitely a push threat. VG is just doing a lot of really good rotations, keeping everyone behind at bay. Because pretty much everyone in this lineup is squishy. Even the Alchemist, in a sense. He's got great regen, but he's still a squishy hero. The only one who's really tanky is the Life Stealer. And usually you're not going to go gank in the carry anyways. And if you do, you're going to invest four heroes like VG did up here at top lane. It, it's kind of like with heroes like Weaver... And then you've got uh, Manny Mage and Lifestealer. They all have some sort of escape. It's a little weird, but it is there. Plus, they're, well, maybe not so much Manny Mage. Uh, but Weaver and Moo are. Moo. <laughs> Weaver and Lifestealer are tanky heroes. Either way, Hookshot, Fissure. Moo is actually doing pretty good with his regen, but there was just nothing Banana can do to save him. Moo is just having a terrible game this game. It's not his fault, it's just VG playing out of their mind so far. Rocket, no hook, so the blink's in, but Super's not going to invest in ult on this, so there's going to be another tower push. Newbie, newbie have had enough of this, They're saying, you know what, you're going to push towers, we're going to push towers. Frig the farming, we're just going to do exactly what you're doing. Uh oh. How? I don't know about this. I don't know if that's a good teleport. You need to. Oh my goodness. I don't know why he teleported in there. Probably was thinking he can infest into something. Or his team was going to help. He does have armlet, but man, that's going to cost his team. That's two down. Possibly three. Song Shen in big trouble. There goes the boulder. I'm trying to watch both sections. Moo gets picked off even. Just the teleports and stuff are completely out of coordination from Newbie. This is totally unlike them. And VG looking strong as. Stronger than ever. Dyer's top tower's gonna be Clockwork down. now back with his hook shot. We've also okay, Fisher's gone. Radiant. We had this the fit I do know the Fisher was used on Moo, even though I missed that. But man, you know newbie are just I have to say it, they're playing sloppy. This is this is unlike a newbie, and this is your TI4 grand finals, you know. These teams got here by beating out some of the best teams in the world. You know, they're not they're not pushovers. But this is just, oh boy. What was looking a little bit uh, not so good for newbie just turned out to be a full-blown grim. This is this is looking grim because not only are they losing, they lost from those poor, that was like, that's basically, I hate to say it, I'm not, I don't want to degrade these teams anyway, but in all honesty, that was like um, a one, sending in one person at a time kind of thing that happened there. That you see in pubs a lot, where someone goes in to save a teammate, and but no one else is going in, and then someone else tries to save that teammate, so it's like a one on, like you're sending in one person at a time into the meat grinder, and it's just it usually doesn't work out too well, as you saw there. It, it not only costed them their team, but it cost them two towers and a roche. That one tower was dead no matter what. And they got a trade for it, so it wasn't entirely that bad. They could have just let it go, but for some reason they wanted to teleport in, defend, but it was uncoordinated, and it, it really backfired. Now VG's got a super, super lead going on here. EXP-wise, it's 7,500. Gold graph, I don't even want to check the gold graph. We're going to check it anyways. Pretty much the same. 7,000 in favor, so this is 18 minutes in the game. It's still early, still anyone's game, but... That was definitely uh, a, a scale tipper right there, or a teeter-totter. The teeter-totter is now up in the air for VG and uh, hitting the ground for Newbie. So, Newbie, what are they going to do to get back into this? They're going to do some ancient farming. Hopefully, they still have some stacks. They do not at the moment, but that is probably going to be... Oh, uh, maybe not. If they lose this tower bot, maybe they don't want to stack because... VG could easily take a stack away, so this tower is going to be a freebie. What is Newbie going to do to respond to this? They're going to do a trade-off and try and get their own towers. But you've got to teleport in from Super, and he's going to stop this because he's got Blink. He's got Scepter. Scepter, I don't even... I, that, I didn't even see that. I was so focused on others. But Scepter, Blink, and your ult. 18 minutes in. I don't know when he got it, but I'm assuming it was early. AA is pretty poor, but he's still keeping up with the warding. Uh, Necro 3 already on Xiao 8, so th that's pretty good. Uh, that's actually a really scary push 
pusher right there, so they have to keep their eyes open for that. They're just Radiant more worried about pushing themselves. Right Moo is in Viz, he does have a Viz rune, and it's looking pretty fresh, probably had a bottle. Your Radiance is finished on your Spare Bear for Sylar. I don't know the timing of that. I, I really should have. It's been a while since Radiant I cast it, so I totally forgot about what, like, keeping an eye out for uh, item timings, but I'll try and do that starting now. So we got Blink Dagger, 19 minutes, picked up on the Earthshaker. I think uh, Shaman's going to try and go for one, too. He does. He already has this, so the initiation potential from BG just hit the roof. You've got three blinks, a clockwork rocket. Heck, throw a blink on the bear, why not? <laughs> I've seen it happen before. <laughs> I've never seen it in pro games, but I've seen it in my pubs, so why not? Let's do that. Full-blown initiation for VG. Newbie, on the other hand, I keep mentioning the push, but what do they actually have? Lion, that's probably not going to be a Necro. I'm thinking that's a four staff, so they're looking for some more escape because they are behind. The mech is up on Alchemist. And you usually don't see that too often. Usually if your alchemist goes mech, it's it's kind of like a mercy calling. So they definitely know they're behind and they need to just get whatever they can to maintain some sort of balance uh, over VG. Uh, VG though looking strong, staying strong and staying together as a five man team. Radiance Newbie a little bit more spread out, but they kind of have to be. They have to keep the, the map control that they're slowly losing on the map. And this is a really unique ward. Radiant That's actually, I've, I've never seen that before. Shape. That's giving quite a lot of vision, especially when you're pushing that tower. tower. Wow. Really nice. So there's another freebie, and that is literally every single tower gone for newbie by the 20 minute mark outside their base. So they only have tier threes. And as I say that, they're looking to lose those tier threes also. Clockwork Hook catches out. But then again, you have a nice ancient apparition all coming out from. I, uh, Song Shang, I totally forgot his name. Have I'm actually remembering VG's name for the newbies, which is a little bit biased. But here we go. Howe in a bit of trouble. He does have armlet. Not even going to use his uh, his wand charges. Uh, the bear's looking pretty low, but this is looking really grim for newbie. Xiao Wei, really low, pinned in the corner, just going to try and fight his way out of this. Might be able to pick off Fenrir with the Necronomicons. He will be able to, but unfortunately, the Tier 3 tower is down, and there are still three of VG up on the front line. Meanwhile, you only have support and move. Speaking about supports, that's one down. Buyback is going to happen from the line. They do not want to lose these racks. Look at the DNA. All. It's beautiful. Connects right on the Lone Druid, but unfortunately, he's got an Angus, so he's just back up. Full HP, you pretty much just fully healed him. But there's not much they can do. They have to do something to stop this. Newbie looking really desperate. Moo running into there, pops the mech, but he is just getting incinerated from that Radiance. Speaking about incineration, Song Chen in the exact same scenario. Banana, he's now down. Sylar just going to teleport straight in front of the face of Zhao Wei and how because there is no stuns out on their line to stop it this is looking bad the racks are saved so newbie did manage to save the racks but they literally like how many buybacks was that that was that was a lot of buybacks definitely the lion the nature's prophet had the buyback too it's it's not looking good and meanwhile as I say that you have an assault curse picked up on your lone druid wherever the bear is he's back at base so there's your AC Radiance, 22 minutes. Now you have a four staff. So this this shadow this Shadow Shaman's moving around faster than an Animage. Heck, faster than an Ember, Ember Spirit. Let's go with it. <laughs> that is a scary Shadow Shaman. Very farmed. Earthshaker, not too far behind from it. And then you have your Brew. I, Brew could probably go for an Ags or something. He's actually low in gold, so I'm wondering if he has an item. Okay. He has a Vlad, so I'm pretty sure that's his. Let's check. Yes, it is. Standard brew item. You usually see after the scepter, you usually see either a Vlad, an AC, um, a sheep stick. Pretty popular in the North American scene. Uh, but sometimes you do see that refresher. It's a little bit greedier. Uh, but they, they have a nice lead. They don't wanna they don't wanna risk anything. So he's gonna get a nice item that will continue to sustain their push. Right back up to top lane. And this is scary. Zhao Wei does have bot pushed out with his trees, but there's there's a lot of buybacks offline for newbies, so they need to be very careful. Moose actually is just gonna run in. There's the primal sprint from Blue Master. Blue Master, sorry, going on Zhao Wei. Zhao Wei, I can't watch because RTK is actually getting mauled here by Hao. So Hao's actually doing some work here. There's the stun from Moo as well. But look, body blocks from FY and his 
Serpent. Lionel, I just heard a Lionel, but he's gonna easily, uh, actually, Silar is going to manage to pick off the Ancient Apparition on Songshag, but that's two down. That's just supports, though, and they also plunked the ward outside of the rack, so, even though it's not looking great for Newbie, it's actually probably one of the best scenarios they're gonna get. How a, how a, I gotta stop saying how a, how, gonna try and maul in here, but he just gets stunned, the Radiance Burn is just too much, FY's actually getting pretty low, but 4 snaps himself out, it doesn't matter, he does manage to fall, but there is 4 down for Newbie, and Zhao Wei is the only one left standing, they're just gonna call you, there's too much spent, too much invested, just to keep those racks alive, and unfortunately it just didn't pay off for Newbie, so, game will go in the favor of VG, nice game, uh, just goes to show that you you don't need a full lineup of push heroes to do a really strong early push uh, And there you go I'm gonna pause this if I could find the pause which are better. There you go uh, Great game really good um, In terms of bias because this was this was my own personal cast in terms of like Making myself a better caster. That's why I do this casting thing, but I also do it for you guys, too um, But I, I'd say it was it was better. It was better. At least I'd say better than my last cast because that was. I noticed quite a bit of bias in that. So, um, not too much bias here. Uh, maybe I said VG's names a little too more than I did Newbie. I, I forgot um, Banana and Song Sheng's name a little bit. So, um, but I'm I'm working on it. So hopefully it works out in the future. And yeah, great game. Nice and short. Maybe I'll try and work on a long one. But. That's my next goal, uh, doing a game where I'm casting a team that maybe I do like, but I still have to keep it unbiased. So hopefully I'll do that for my next cast, but thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.